It is baseball season once again. Nebraska, along with the other 12 teams in the Big Ten will take the field on Friday to start the 2019 season. Nebraska travels to the Highlanders of the University of California Riverside to start the 2019 season, after playing the Highlanders in Arizona last season. Nebraska will send out Chad Lundsman who is returning from Tommy John's surgery, while the Highlands of UC Riverside will send out junior college transfer Hayden Petrovic in series opener. Lundsman will be on a pitch limit for Friday night's contest. It is expected that the junior will get between 50 and 70 pitches. It could be the second inning or the sixth depending which version of Loonsman shows up. If he got the Huskers into the fourth inning, that would be considered a win. Loonsman will have to face a lineup that has some potential for power from the Highlanders. Connor Cannon launched a three-run home run that helped the Highlanders split the season series with the Huskers last year. Cannon, a first-team All-Big West slugger led Riverside with 10 home runs. Matt Hardy and Justin Mannins are a pair of senior bats who hit over .300 in limited playing time last season. Mannins also led the Highlanders with six steals while only playing in 21 contests. The Highlanders gave up 83 steals, while only swipping 23 bags last season. Starting pitching for Riverside will be more of a challenge this weekend. It appears that head coach Troy Percival's son Cole will not start any of the four games this weekend. Riverside has chosen Petrovic to start Friday night after he transferred in from Citrus College. Petrovic is a big tall lefty, standing in at 6'3", so he could give some of the Husker hitters a nice challenge on opening night. Mojo Haga and Luke Roskam are the two lefties that Petrovic could dominate if he is on. Petrovic was up to 89 with his fastball and offers a solid curveball and changeup. The rest of the weekend, Nebraska will see Seamus Lyons, Riley Ole, and Jeremiah Pretty. Pretty is the only pitcher who was with the Highlanders last year, and he only pitched three innings total on the year. Lyons works 85 to 88 with his fastball and pairs that with his 7 1, 7, 4, 1, 2, 6 curveball. He also offers a change up that is more of a third offering. Ole might be the best challenge for the Huskers. Ole spent his first year at the University of Nevada before heading to Cypress College last season. He has four solid pitches. His 88 to 92 four seam fastball and 85 to 88 two seam fastball will give the Huskers some heat to hit. He throws a hard change in a slider both in the 78 to 82 range. Beside Loonsman, Nebraska will send out both Reese Eddins and Nate Fisher. Fisher battled injuries, but started a handful of games last season, while Eddins has battled injuries in both 2017 and 2018. Eddins has shown a great curve when he is uninjured, while Fisher was the Huskers' best pitcher in terms of limiting free passes last season. On Sunday, the Huskers will hand the ball over to a true freshman in Colby Gomes. Gomes was a honorable mention All-American from Rawlings. Overall, Nebraska was picked 6th in the 13-team Big Ten, while Riverside was picked to finish 9th in the 9-team Big West. Nebraska has a solid chance to come out with a winning weekend and that would be a great start to the 2019 season. Time change today's first pitch has been moved up to 6 p.m. Central Time. Baseball, February 15, 2019 Nebraska, 0-0, at UC Riverside, 0-0, Feb 15-17, 2019 Riverside Sports Complex, Riverside, California. Friday, February 15, 6 p.m., CT, Video Stream, Big West. TV Radio, Husker Sports Network, Chad Loonsman, 0-0, vs. Hayden Petrovic, 0-0, Saturday, February 16, DH Game 1, 2 p.m., CT, Video Stream, Big West. TV Radio, Husker Sports Network Reset Ins, 0-0, vs. Riley L, 0-0, Saturday, February 16, DH Game 2, Video Stream, Big West.
TV Radio, Husker Sports Network Nate Fisher, 0-0, vs. Seamus Lyons, 0-0, Sunday, February 17, 3 p.m., CT, Video Stream, Big West. TV Radio, Husker Sports Network Colby Gomes, 0-0, vs. Jeremiah Pretty, 